And two was our bunch in Balata, fancy to them. I just couldn't wait. I didn't hear a crane. I will cry. 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 So that is the matron. She, she cooks for the children from kindergarten one to grade six. So those above grade six are not fed in the school. So this is a government project. So uh, yeah, they call it school feeding. So basically I wanted to bring you something nice for my school today. And then basically from the library that you made it happen. Yes, you remember years ago, there wasn't a library here. This place was bush. And uh, I had some donations from brothers and sisters from all over the world because I was telling them I need library books for my kids educational materials and all that and then an idea came that why don't we do the lab because the books were in my room yeah i was then staying there there's a teacher's quarters if you remember those of you who've been following you know from way back i want to say thank you for all that for following and everything so um, all the books that came i kept it in my living room and because we are in a rural community and we live around the bushes and all that sometimes you have reptiles come in your room and then we had uh, mice come into my hall chewing the books and all that come here what's your name Eric. which class are you class three okay blue, blue. all right <laughs> yes so i'm like that with the kids you know they, they always want to be around you know so an idea came that why don't we build a library and then we spoke to people we, sp we spoke to beloved people uh, we spoke to you and you decided to build so now we have our school library the kids love to come there all the time and uh, kind courtesy of our partner um, Yas Antua we've been able to secure funds to bring in um, one lady who is supporting at the library which is beautiful so she's been coming to um, the library every day as a librarian official and official librarian and then she's been helping with the kids which is so awesome she comes you know keep the place neat and all that but there's something that i want to ask from you again i'm coming your way again um the floor i took a video of it the floor we had to paint it okay we painted the floor but um as time goes on i realized the, the floor was was wearing off the paint were wearing off so uh, we had to paint it again and it kept wearing off because we were thinking we we're going to use uh, oil paint to do that. But as and when the kids do come to the library, it keeps wearing off. So we are thinking and I want to ask, what is the best way to keep the floor? Should we um, tile the place, which I think is way better, or we should keep painting the floor with oil paint, which will go off each and every time anyway that is a question that i wanted to ask you so if we have to um, get a, a, a towel and, and i mean towel the place then i'm gonna come your way again look i'm a government worker i've been teaching for the past 15 years in this particular school yes and i have personally together with my staff have done a lot for the school so being a government teacher living on a, a little salary I, we don't want to talk about our salary now. So if I come your way all the time and ask for a support for my school, then it's for a right cause. Um, I've had a lot of people supporting my school. Those I know, those I don't. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is that I, I have to come your way because if I'm leaving this school, I've been here for 15 years, probably I will leave this school one day. I cannot carry this and take it away. It will be here for the kids and the community of, of, of Afringwa. And so I will come your way again. If we all agree that, Echo, let's tile the place. Let's put some tiles there so that the kids will also feel comfortable. The place will be kept. And then, uh, you know, keep it so cool. Then I think I'll come your way again. If we all agree that, Echo, let's tile the place. I mean, we're in the modern world. Let's tile the place. You know, I remember when I came here, when I started teaching here in 2008, uh there was no whiteboard and i am i am say i would say i'm fortunate a little bit because i've been dealing with a lot of you know uh people from all over the world so i was like writing on the blackboard is done so we have to try a new one so 
together with a friend of mine, his name is Gary Sticks, we were able to change or cover part of the, the blackboard to Formica board or the whiteboard. And there's been support with markers and everything. So if you're watching this and you want to support us with a marker, I think it will be great. But like I said, this video is basically to show you what is happening with the library in my school, the upkeep and everything. Look at them. So we don't have a, we don't have a, um, a running water in the school. So uh, we have this barrel, we fetch water, we put it in, and then the kids would have to drink uh, when they come to school, yes. And uh, let me see, let me take you around the school a little bit. Yeah, we have to always make sure that the school is cleaned. And uh, today we are, this week is our exams time. So uh, most of the kids are in the class writing. Those you see there, they are done but we have the upper class to uh, write in the examination. Good morning. Good morning. Sit down, sit down. Are you writing your exams? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Okay, so this used to be my office. <laughs> this used to be my office until we built the library and i moved my office there so I will, i'll take you there and show you my office so like i said we are in our exams time so the kids are writing there this is the the higher class so this is grade seven and eight put together writing their exams Look at them. Yes, I know you are eating. You like food. <laughs> yes. Yes, dizzy. <laughs> All right, so this is basically my school. And uh, the compound is always clean. We try to keep it clean. Uh, one of my teachers uses this motto. Yes. So most teachers... Okay, so on the, on the, on the, on the normal, the, the teachers in, in this community must stay in the community. So for example... Uh, we had an NGO that built a six-unit um, bedroom apartment, if I should call it that way. So when you enter every room, I used to stay here. I used to be in this room. So uh, when you enter, there's a hall. This is, so the hall was where I was keeping my the school library books that were donated all over the world. So when you enter, there's a hall, and then there's a kitchen. There's a, ba there's a um, back door, and then there's the bedroom. This is the bedroom and then toilet and bath inside. So when you're inside, apart from coming out to take fresh air, you don't want to come out, you have everything in there. So we have six teachers who are staying here. Now we have about 12 and the rest, we stay out of the community. So every day we need to pick a car from a place called Salt Spawn. That's about 15 minutes, no, 10 to 15 minutes drive. Now the road is very bad. The road is very bad, so I don't bring my car. My car is, is on the low, so I don't bring it. I can't bring it. Yeah, let me show you what is what is happening outside. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, exactly what we are going through. You know, the road, I came from that side. Road is nasty. It's really, really nasty. Like, it's nasty. I am pissed. Yes, because... The, those you are working for are not making any changes in your life. They are, they are just messing your life, rather. You know, this this my baby. I have to drive this my baby here all the time. And Charlie, nah, man. And so I I commute every blessed day to come here. And um, um, I spend I spend how much? When I'm going, it's five CD when I'm coming. So I spend like 10 CD a day. That is, let's say, a dollar. So I spend a dollar a day on my transportation every day. I'm not the only one. There are about six of us who stay out of the community. I've been living in this community when I started teaching for almost 14 years. I just left the community because I needed um, something different. I needed a different environment. And it's been helpful to me. So 
And here, there's a problem with the network. Sometimes you want to contact me, you want to call me, the network is not happening. I'm like, oh God, then I need to go find somewhere and then stand, maybe stand on a, on a tree or something. But um, it is what it is, it is what it is. So it's a, it's a beautiful day here. It's a Thursday, I'm in school. Um, look at them. Hey, what are doing? Hey, come on, get up. Look at the way you dress, dress here. You are looking dirty, you. Have you finished your exams? Huh? Yes, madam. Am I madam? <laughs> because they are uh, teacher is a lady, they call their teacher madam, so it's in the head. Uh, my staff is a little bit. No, we are all friendly. We we try not to have issues with each other, so we are always look at her. <laughs> so that is. Uh -huh. Good morning, guys. Uh -huh. I'm Miss Alexa Dan. Uh -huh. This is my head teacher, uh -huh. Mr. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I. So, yeah, you know, we are all around doing what we have to do. I know you'll be sitting there laughing and be like, <laughs> Echo. <laughs> Echo is funny, like the school and everything. Yes, you, you have to do what you have to do. But then, I have this issue. I feel like I'm in my, I'm having midlife career. What do you call challenge? Yeah, I I feel like 15 years of being in in, in the government sector, Ghana Education Service, being teaching for 15 years. I feel like I want to move on with life. I don't know. I feel like I need a new a new life i need a new environment i need a new uh, sector it's like i'm sometimes i get so so frustrated and so stressed that i've been doing this for 15 years like repeatedly and i'm not saying that i don't see growth within me i see growth but it's not like how i want it i i'm not feeling it like, I don't know if you've been, ever been in such a situation where you feel like um, the kind of work that you're doing. I mean, I'm almost getting to 40. I'm not 40 yet, but I'm, I'm getting to 40. Some people won't believe that I'm getting to 40, but yeah, I am. So this is one of the things that I'm facing. Yo, what's up? <laughs> is that? It's not over. It's not over yet, yes. So that's all my stuff, yeah. So as, like I said, we are cool. So anybody who comes into my school and start messing up, you wouldn't get it easy. We are all cool. We are all cool together, anyway. So yeah, I'm 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 facing this career issues. I feel like I want to change. I want to change. But any any anybody that you discuss this with, they are like, okay, what you what if you leave and you don't find other work? and you don't get the source of income and blah 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 that is the mentality that a lot of us who are government workers face what if i stop if i stop teaching and i want to go you know enter into any other thing would it be successful if it would not then why do you want to leave it's like there is always that fear of trying something new when you are when you are working with the government okay or when you have a certain job, you feel like, what if I leave it and it's not going to work out? So sometimes I want to leave. I really want to leave. But I'm like, what else am I going to do? I don't know. I would wish that you share this. I mean, your opinion on this. What do you suggest that I, I can do? Because 15 years of, I know other people have thought for more than a number of years. But that is to them. But to me, I am different. I feel like... I've, I, I've gotten to a place where the applaud is, is on the high and I need to change. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, one of my teachers who stays here, he has decided to, to build a farm. Yes, he has a, a little farm. Uh, let, me, let me get inside. Oh, is it locked? It's locked. Oh. Uh. 
it's locked but okay this is it he has plantain no that's not yeah there's plantain that's plantain there yes and there is cassava and i think he had some maize in it as well so that is what he's doing to <laughs> keep himself busy the school is supposed to organize ourselves well and get it. okay there's a space that i can go there okay yeah there's no space i thought there was a space here okay so i think this is pepper and tomato that is nice i've not i've not really come here to check it out look the pepper is even coming up can see the pepper coming up yeah okay that is nice he's making good use of his backyard <laughs> remember sometime i wanted to build um a penthouse for good and i started and i had to stop because i wasn't getting the motivation and everything not about the motivation i mean things were building this i built this i told you i was staying over there so i built this this structure that I wanted to use it for um, to rare goods and everything, but I stopped. I mean, we have tried, and just behind our house, our teachers' quarters, we have uh, you know some metals. If you want to raise, if you want to, that, that's, a, that's a gym, like a mini gym. Yeah, and some of my teachers they are into farming, so they have this stylo or stilo. I don't know how they call it, but where they keep their uh, products and everything in it and yeah so i've just walked around the school and now i'm back to the library so this is it so it is just away from there's a teacher's quarters and that is the library benjamin how are you So this is the office space. So let me show you. I have the Ghana map over here. Yes, I have I have a ceiling fan. Yeah, I'm the only head teacher. No, the other head teachers with ceiling fan. I'm not the only one. Yeah. And this we bought this this uh, table the day that we commissioned the library. The day that we commissioned the library, uh, we had some donations from people who came to the event. So uh, the money that we realized, we bought this and then we bought plastic chairs, about 10. This is a plastic chair. So some are at the, uh, of the other office, which is now a staff common room for the teachers. And there are a lot of things here. These books were donated by a brother. There are a lot of things, you know, and this chair. When I sit in, let me see, let me put a camera down so you can see me when I turn around. Yes. So this chair was donated to us by uh, one of the chiefs in the community of where I teach. Uh, so shout out to the chief for giving us this. Else I would have been sitting on a hard chair, <laughs> which I don't know, but it is what it is. Yeah, so... Uh, any time, any, any year, when we complete um, the final years, when they complete, they take a group picture. So that is me. Let me show you. Let me turn the camera. So that is me over there. You see, I've changed. That was way back. That was uh, 2015. So this is our first batch of students who completed school. Uh, yes. And then that is me again. Uh, 2017, I guess. So basically that is it about about my school my office i have my laptop here so i come with it if i have to edit any work i edit it whilst i'm in school and that is it yes so thank you for watching the video this is our washroom as well we have two toilet so if you are visiting you're okay smells good because we keep it neat all the time. So shout out to Yasantua. She's been of great support. Great, great, great support. Yasantua, great, great, great support. You've been a great support and you're still supporting the school. Um, we hope for the better. Like I said, before I end the video, this is what I was talking about, the tab. 
it keeps wearing off. Sorry, the the flow keeps wearing off. So uh, we would rather want to uh, get towels on the floor. Look, they always want to be here. Go ahead and do your thing. They always want to be here. Ella, Ella, I want the three of you to say thank you for watching my video. Ready, go. Thank you for watching my video. Okay.